us at the back are saying. Um, Right. The meeting is now being recorded, so remember anyone who's coming up to the front, you're going to be recorded. Right, um, we're going to zoom, literally zoom, over to the Benfords, um, who've been working on where the phrase I am comes from. Um, can we hand over to the Benfords now? And hopefully see them on the screen, not the song for later. Yeah, you're on mute at the moment. Bex, you need to you need to let Bex speak. Can you unmute Bex and can you put um, oh yep, what we got on? Here is. Um she's on this computer, she's not up there. <laughs> yeah. Can we can we have a big Bex on the screen? <laughs> <laughs> you can just maybe just hear me. I don't know. Do, do you need to see me? She said where it came from. Um, Right. Should we should we just talk? Don't worry about the video. What would you like us to say? <laughs> right. Well, we've got Bex on the screen, but she's a bit small. Any chance of making that big? Yeah. If you could, un I think she you're unmuted. We might have to put up with you being very small. That's fine. Sure, you can't make that big. <laughs> Maybe if you do the. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Bex. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Uh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Bex, speak, speak to us. What, what do you want me to say? I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing, sorry. <laughs> right, um, you're supposed to um, tell us where the phrase I am comes from and show us your craft. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so the phrase I am, we had um, Exodus 3, 1 to 17. So it was about Moses and the burning bush. So the original I am phrase came from that when Moses asked God to say, who shall I say I am to the Israelites? And he said, God said to him, tell them I am who I am. And then we realized that that was also what Jesus was saying later on. He was echoing that in some of the other passages when he said, I am. Is that helpful? <laughs> um, and so to represent that, we've done several things actually. So there's our burning bush. <laughs> yeah, yes, thank you very much. Yeah. We've also, we got, we got, we got sent, Ursula, lovely Ursula, sent us some um, of the gingerbread as well. So we have been decorating gingerbread. <laughs> well, eight of those? What happened to the other five? <laughs> we, we, they're, they're plain. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and Sean did an, and I am the light of the world for a good measure. Because no one picked that one, so I just thought that. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Um, right, next, it's it's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, I, I looked at I am the bread of life, and um, the key verse for this is uh, John 6, verse 35. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. And um, the, the bread, the gingerbread, you've already seen because... Uh, Bex showed you some, um, and it is it is all wheat free, so even you can eat it even if you've got a wheat allergy. And there are some out the back for us to have with coffee. And uh, the most important thing about this, I think, is this: um, as bread sustains physical life, Jesus offers and sustains our spiritual life. Um, next is I am the light of the world, and I think that's going to be Derek. No, you did light as well. Mike, it's Mike.
This is our second one. Our main one's coming later. And uh, um, so we've got a light in as well. Uh, just, I don't know what the key verse is because I didn't get that. We just run out of time. But Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And White, he was saying basically, in order to know the way forward and to see things in the darkness, I need to know him. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, right. Next, we have um, the gate. Andrew, you were going to come and do that. It's a bit weird, okay. <laughs> yeah, so did some gates, uh, myself and Anna. Um, Anna says, Jesus, the only way, the only and real gate this way. And I put about Jesus being health and heart, God knows. And the verse, yeah, it's 7, 10, 9, yeah. So, Yes, yeah, so, therefore Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who have come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep have not listened to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come and go in and go, sorry, come, come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I've come only that I've come that day you may have life and have it to the full. Yep. So basically, yeah, but um, you can't enter heaven by being a good person, kind by going to by hearing about Jesus, or just by attending church. The only way to enter heaven is by allowing Jesus into your head and your heart. You know, in the name of Lord. Thank you very much. So if you can see Maria's craft there, do you want to just describe what the craft is? is? Get a bit closer, please. Um, well, this is supposed to represent the blood of Jesus and the heart, his love for us, and he's our good shepherd. So that's the cross, the shepherd. Okay, thank you. So the verse um, that we had is John 10, verse 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. And in our discussion, um, we came up with a lot of um, um, part sentences. Okay, so we've got probably more than one whole one. Um, Jesus's heart is for us. Jesus loves us. And he showed this by willing, he was willing to die for us. He looks out for us all the time. He knows us by name um, and he shows us the way to go. And one day he's going to bring us home. Mm. Resurrection of life, that's serious group, but then he's coming out. We had fun in our group with Emily and Marianne. We've all made these really lovely little um, tombs with a, a stone because um, this I am verse comes from. Um, like we saw on the film, Mary and Martha and um, Lazarus um, being raised from the tomb. And this is at the point where Jesus, this is the, the key couple of verses. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. But then he challenges at the end, do you believe this? And of course, this is... Um, you know, a question not only for Mary, Martha and the other onlookers, but it's a, a question that carries on across the centuries. You know, do, do we believe it? Because, well, here, 
in this room, thankfully we do, but uh, it's what we want everybody to come to know and believe is the truth, because uh, we are most likely to die unless Jesus comes again in, the, in between time, but we are likely to die. But even though we die, we will live. And we came up with a new word for Jesus. We, we called him the resurrector. And it would have been shocking to people at the time. Whoa, you know, uh, it was actually quite good seeing the clip because it makes you realize, you know, how shocking it really would have been. Um, yeah, so it's a good one to do. Thank you. <laughs> Where's the truth and the lie? John 14, 6, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Um, we made signposts, so signposts point us in the right direction. It gives us guidance when we're lost. And to put it into a sort of modern day context for us, uh, we thought at Food Bank, we try and signpost people so that they can get the best help. Jesus came to signpost us to get the ultimate best in life. Mm -hmm. I know he is divine. Oh, sorry. Okay. Hello? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, you can see it. Yeah, um, this is the vine with uh, lots of branches because we're lots of branches uh, attached to, to Jesus. And the key verse was John 15, verse 5. I am the vine. You are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So it, it is abs absolutely resting in him, abiding in him, getting his life, and that will make us fruitful. And the key to remaining in him is, is to be obedient, to do what he says. He says clearly what we should do. Thank you. Yeah, you never know how these things are going to turn out, but uh, that was, yeah, that was all brilliant. Um, now, we're going to spend some time in prayer in a minute, and um, we, each table is going to get a candle, and we're going to light the candle. And the, the symbol of the candle is, um, like Sean and Mike reminded us of Jesus saying, I am the light of the world. Um, and this world is often a dark place. Maybe you know someone who is in a dark place, or maybe you know um, a, a place, an area that is going through, a country perhaps that's going through a dark time, or you might know a, a situation or a problem that is um, bringing darkness to our world. Uh, and I want you to, to think of those. And the idea is that once we've lit the candle, um, each, and you obviously clear all paper things out of the way, so we don't, um, set fire to any of the bits of paper, but we'll each table will have a candle and each person is to mention the name of something that you want to bring to Jesus's light. Um, you, you can pray out loud if you want, but you can just say a name and pass on. Uh, can I have my candle giver outers? And Peter's gonna come round and light the candles. 